Hey guys, it's Lance at Mac Sound Solutions and I went a little crazy and I bought yet another Mac Mini. I got the Mac Mini M4 Pro, 512 gigs internal storage, 24 gigs of RAM, and I'm going to migrate my data from the base model Mac Mini that only has 256 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM to the new M4 Pro and I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you've been watching my channel, my recent videos, I use an external Zyke drive enclosure with a two terabyte NVMe for my user account, my user data. So I'm not eating up that internal storage and I saved a lot of money by not buying a two terabyte internal drive. And because I have all my user data on an external drive, I don't have to migrate that stuff. I just unplug the drive, plug it into the new computer, and I'm good to go. The only thing I have to migrate is the internal Macintosh HD data. Does my theory work that this should go very quickly? Let's find out. Okay, so I made a time machine backup, and that's what we're gonna be using today, which is what we're looking at. I have my external Home X drive on there. Everything on that drive is backed up, including my main external user account, and I have my Macintosh HD, everything on it is backed up, including my backup internal user. And that is what we're gonna migrate to the new computer. We don't have to migrate the Home X drive, our external user account drive with all of our data on it because we're just gonna plug it in once we're done with the migration. So I've booted up into the Mac Mini M4 Pro for the first time. I've got my Time Machine drive connected so we can migrate from it. And now we're at the Migration Assistant and it asks us how do we wanna transfer our information and we're gonna select Time Machine Backup, which is already selected. And hit Continue, make sure your Time Machine is plugged in and it will show up in this window. And then we're gonna click continue and we have to enter our Time Machine password because it's encrypted. So don't forget your Time Machine password. And now we're gonna hit continue. And as you can see, our two different drives show up in the window here. And we only wanna select the Macintosh HD data whatever your user account is called. I have a user account in there that's called Backup User. And as far as the food chain is concerned, the Backup User is the top number one administrator. The internal administrative account has some permissions that the external user account does not have, even though it's also set to be an administrator. So we'll click on continue. And so the transfer your information window appears and you can see we're gonna transfer the applications. These are the ones on the internal Macintosh HD and the user accounts. But for my external user account, it says this user's home is relocated and will not be copied. And that's the user account I have on the Home X external drive. So it's not gonna copy any of that data but it is going to create a user in users and groups, just like I have it on the base model Mac mini. So we have two users, an internal and an external, and it's not going to copy any of the external users data. And that's what we want. We're just going to plug in our external drive when we're done migrating the internal data. So we hit continue and it says transfer your information. Choose what you would like to transfer to this Mac. And each one has to have a password set to it, which is interesting. I thought it would remember the passwords we already have. And I am just using my pre existing passwords for each user. And away it goes. It's transferring our data from the Macintosh HD only, and it's going to put the backup user and our external user in there, but it's not going to copy the external user's data to the internal drive. And I'm just going to speed this up here, and then we'll see what happened. Migration complete. Restarting. And now I'm gonna plug in my external user drive before I log into any user accounts. And it does a little final transferring your information bit and then migration complete. Now we can get into our Mac and see what happened. And as you can see, both of my user accounts show up. 
on the login screen. I have my backup user and I have Lance X. Lance X is the external on the Home X site drive and backup user is our user on the internal Macintosh HD. So we're gonna log into that first. And of course it wants me to sign into my Apple account. I am not gonna do that, we'll skip because I only want to log into my Apple account with the external user. That is my main user. So here we are. We are on the desktop of the M4 Pro Mac Mini, and we're going to go look at users and groups, and we're going to see, you can tell Spotlight is doing its indexing right now, but there's one of my applications, iStat Menus, that runs in the background. That got copied via our migration. I did not have to install anything. The apps are just where I left them. So that's really nice. So now we're gonna check my external user account to see if the path is set up the way it was on the base model Mac Mini. And sure enough, it is. It sees the hard drive. It's the same exact path. So that is pretty cool. I know it's a little confusing that my home directory folder name is Lance Mini. It really should just be Lance X. Whatever folder you select on the external drive to be your home user folder, it doesn't matter what it's named. It doesn't have to be the same name as the user account. You can do that. You can have a different home folder name than the user account. But let's just call Lance Mini is Lance X. They're one and the same. So I'm gonna log out of the backup internal user and we're gonna log into the external user and see what happens. And I'm smiling, but will I continue to smile? We shall see. And I'm in. And now I'm gonna log into my Apple account on my external home folder drive. That is the account that's logged into my Apple account in iCloud and all that stuff, not the internal. If you log into your Apple account on the internal drive, all your data is gonna start populating on the internal drive and that's the whole point of this procedure is to have most of our data on the external drive with our main user account. And there we are. We are in and our migration is complete. I am now logged into my external user. I didn't have to migrate that data at all. All I had to do was unplug the hard drive from the first mini and plug it into the second one. Okay, thanks for tuning in. You know, a few things were quirky with this whole changing of the guard. Resident Evil 4, for some reason, and a couple of my other App Store games said they were damaged and I had to re-download them. And something about that tells me it's tied with permissions to the internal drive. Other applications, Final Cut Pro, that ran fine. Uh, so it's a little weird that the games seem to have an issue. I do know that symbolic links, sim links, do not get copied to Time Machine. It ignores them. So if you have a bunch of sim links going on, like I've shown in my videos, you will probably have to redo those sim links. That's about it though. Everything else is running fine. I'm gonna be getting some Thunderbolt 5 enclosures in really soon, and I'll be doing a video about that. So stay Stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.